Okay, so now let's talk about the different types of keys there are. Um, you know, there, there's keys for like mailboxes, toolboxes, uh, padlocks, house keys, gates, all sorts of things. Um, but we're not gonna necessarily refer them as, you know, mailbox keys, because some of them are interchangeable. You can use a mailbox key with sometimes you can use it with a padlock key um, or a padlock. So what we're really gonna do is um, break it down almost into, uh, I don't know, three sort of popular types. Um, this is basically called an edge cut, uh, meaning that the cuts that we make are gonna, uh, gonna be on the edge. There's other types of keys, mostly high security keys uh, or car keys, where you'll actually cut on the inside of a key um, using another tool um, called a laser cutting machine. Um, so we'll, that's something we'll get into later. But So this is a single-sided edge cut key, meaning that we're only cutting on this side right here. We're not cutting on this side, so this is just a single-sided single, single -sided edge cut key. Um, we'll talk about the three most popular ones that we've noticed. I would say 80% of the keys that we tend to do are these single-sided edge cut keys. Um, most popular is this this key right here, it's called the KW1. Uh, might be a little blurry, but it's called the KW1. Very, very popular. Uh, it's mainly house keys, um, keys for doors to enter a house. Same thing with this one. This this one's called an SC1. Um, and you know we can get into more details later on, but uh, this is also uh, very popular for house keys, um, house doors. Um, so that's that's probably 80% of the keys that we do will either be an SE1 or a KW1. When we get into padlocks, so people have, you know, uh, gym locks and uh, different types of, uh, of locks, uh, this is probably one of the most popular ones. It's called an M1. This is also a single-sided edge cut key. Um, if you notice, it is smaller. It's called M1. It's um, it's basically the type of one of the keys uh, from a brand called Master, uh, Master Lock, uh, or Masters. They um, use this key. So uh, that's the single sided edge cut key. Now we have um, right here, this is called a, a double sided uh, edge cut key. So we're cutting on this and this side. Um, same thing with this one. We're going to, this one you actually cut on both sides as well. Uh, the difference sometimes is uh, most keys tend to have the same cuts on this side and also this side. So the pattern is symmetrical. They look the same on this side and also this side. There's very few instances where you're gonna have different cuts on both sides, but this tends to be a key where that's the case. It's called a, a CG1. Don't worry about the names too much. Honestly, you'll you'll get a good feel over time. Um, and this is pretty rare, but it does happen. I just want you to be familiar with that. But you will be basically duplicating this key by cutting this side um, a certain uh, cut, and then this side is a different cut. So this side and this side will not look the same. Um, so you just have to be uh, wary of that before you cut. Um, because probably 95%, 98% of keys tend to have the same cuts on both sides. Um, so that is a, a double side edge cut um, with different cuts on both sides. Uh, the other type of key that we have, um, strictly talking about um, you know, house keys, mailbox keys, we're not talking about automotive keys. Um, there's another, this is more of a little, little bit of a high security, I guess. It's called the tubular key. Um, and these keys basically have notches or cuts around the edge of this uh, tubular key. Uh, it allows it to be able to push up, sim similar concept where it pushes up certain pins to certain heights and allows the key to turn. Uh, so just as an example of a cut key, so you can see right here, um, we're doing this video off of a GoPro, so up close tends to be a little blurry. Sorry about that. Um, but you'll see the little cuts right there. Um, it's a little more challenging. This requires a different machine, the laser cut machine. Um, 
it doesn't work on an edge cut machine and i'll show you those machines in a little bit um but this is a tubular key and uh yeah they're pretty rare uh harley davidson uh uses this um vending machines will use tubular keys um and other other things as well but yeah they're not too popular but they show up here and there and we'll show you how to cut that as well okay that's it